and it was called uh, um, Asses or Us. Tired of brown stains in your BBDs? Get rid of them. <laughs> Get rid of them in a breeze with new erase. Yes, ladies, don't fret or sweat when you flood with blood. Erase it out. A VD stain? Yeah, it could be a pain. Don't feel dirty and hide your face. Say so long to stains with new erase. <laughs> we loved it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God, that's hilarious. <laughs> yeah, we're having fun on the Butterhag Show. Here we go. All right. Yes, indeed. Live in five. <laughs> Let me see. We only have two. It takes a while for people to join. So okay. right now, we've so far, we've just got three people That's in the right. room. Can they see us? It'll be a minute. Yes, they can see How us. How you doing, folks? Hey, yeah. we're in Columbus, Ohio. Did you know that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now you do. Uh, well, thanks. <laughs> yeah. I'm with Butterhag. And we're having a ball. We're in the... Uh, Give them a minute. The it, it'll, be, it'll be a minute. You have to start over when people join. Oh, okay. People haven't joined yet. They're like, oh, we got to hear this shit again. Well, it means it's being recorded. Yes, ma'am. But it's streamed. Oh, okay, I got it. So they, they and unlike YouTube, they see it in real, real time. Uh huh. So if they join now, they don't know anything that we said before, and they don't, you know, I mean, if they, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Okay. I know YouTube buffers it, but we don't. Okay. It's just live. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. That makes it more fun. Yes. Know. Yes, but it takes them a while when you go live. They. Um, it takes them a while to What push. did you do during the uh, 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 George Floyd uh, uh, trial? What did I were do? You, were you going live? And... Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. I was going live during the show. I was going live. I go live every day. Yes, ma'am. Every morning and every evening. Okay. And oh, dog, I feel so bad that I can't give you that. Oh, he ate good today. Okay. And they got rib bones, so. Okay. They're not suffering. Come here, Freckles. Oh, you have another dog? Oh, yeah. Come here, Freckles. Come here. You see? Come here. Oh, okay. Little puppy. No. no. She's full grown. She's eight years old. <laughs> yeah, she's full grown. Yep. She's eight years old. You old ass little dog. <laughs> old ass little dog. Hi, baby. Come uh, here. No, uh, no, no. He's eating. You slobber on my sandwich, don't you? <laughs> You don't usually walk on somebody's lap without asking. I don't know what's... I just got her. One of my right? followers, I stopped in uh, Cincinnati mm -hmm. and uh, stayed there for almost a week. And the dog attached to Gonzo and Winston and me. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, I know you want some of that, but oh, you can't yeah. have it, honey. You have it's already like eaten enough kids. for three Pomeranians today. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need any more. Oh, they just drove past. Who is that? Uh oh. Whoever we're expecting to come. Oh, um, uh, Calvin. Ro yeah, probably. I don't know. That's or maybe what? he was just saying hello to somebody. Yeah, that's Roy. Oh, okay, come on. No, you, it's okay. Go. That's okay. I just don't want to. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's right. As long as you're sure. Yeah, I'm fine. Anyway, you guys, we're here with Ted. Say it. Ted Williams. Ted Williams. Ted, the man with the golden voice. <laughs> You guys that know the man with the golden voice? I'm here in Columbus, Ohio, and in case you don't know, I'm just a homeless guy 10 years ago, was standing on a highway corner holding a sign, and a gentleman shot a video, unbeknownst to me, it went viral. And the rest is history. I've been on every uh, national television show, and thanks to the lovely Butterhag, I'm on her show. There you go. <laughs> so here we are. He's been on Dr. Phil and on every show. I Monique, saw you Oprah. on Good Morning America. Yeah. 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 All and of the, them. Uh, uh, Here's Today. Darius is here too. <laughs> and, and the Today Show with Matt Lauer. Oh wow. Yeah. 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 And Ann Curry and, and Meredith Vieira. Cool. Man. That... I'm in a little bit of the dumps though, um, um Ter I mean uh Butterhag. My wife died. Oh on March twentieth. And I've been with her for thirty two years. Oh no. And uh, she left here at the age of sixty. So I go through Talking about mental health issues, I, I go in and out. Um, I miss her so much, and if I keep talking about her, I'll be fooling her. But that was my friend, my mate. Oh, my I hope. am no, so I sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I am so very sorry. Yes, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Dear, well, thank you. Uh, yeah, I am so sorry. But let me Hello, dive right on nobody's parade. Um, it, it's certainly a pleasure to be here with you. Ted has and a radio you. show uh, on. Uh, Radio Free Network. Radio Free Network. Network. Um, it's a 
going to be the Golden Voice show. Ted Williams, the Golden Voice. Yes. And He's a really mind. neat guy. He signed the bus already. Yes, absolutely. Anything for Butter, Hag, and Company. <laughs> <laughs> and Company. Yeah. I have 320 square feet in this bus and three dogs. 300 pounds of dogs in that, 320 love. square feet. I don't know how in the world I do it. I really don't. Well, you've got God on your side for one. I, I, yeah. Yes. Having a good time? Evidently. Yeah, you, I, is this your first time in Columbus or Ohio? Yes, it's the first time in my Ohio and the first time. I mean, I've driven through on, yeah, yeah. on cross-country trips. But you said I, you stopped in uh, Cincinnati. I it? stopped in Cincinnati. Uh-huh. Yeah. So you visited the foreclosure dot goddess. Okay. Um, she, that's her name on TikTok. And um, my dogs fell in love with her place. I did not think I was going to get my dogs to go in the bus so that we could leave. I uh, really didn't. Yeah. Um, they loved it so much there, but she was she was just wonderful to meet her. She's a special soul. All my visitors. This is like my nineteenth stop on my trip. Wow! Actually, this is about the, this has got to be the twentieth stop by now. Butterhag, the traveling woman. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is called Butterhag's road trip. Oh, is that right? Yes. Okay, we got to get a T-shirt for that. Yes. Oh, why? Well, I, I, yeah, I've Don't got. Worry. Everybody is making Maybe. all different kinds of things. So yeah. I've got a wood placard there that says Butterhag's Journey. And, uh, oh, bless you. So, and that we all have. I'm sure you'll agree. We all have a journey. We all have a purpose. That's right. And we all have a gift. That's right. I yeah. believe I believe that. With, yes, ma'am. We, you know, and uh, this journey that I'm on right now is not... I mean, I can't even get the hell out of my own way most of the time. Uh-huh. So for all of these things to have fallen together... You know, it, it's got to be some because I'm not doing yeah, anything. Purpose, I'm yeah. not doing anything special. I'm just being me and surviving. But all of the things that have come into my path have been really, really good. Um, so recently, not always, but while yeah, since yeah, I've yeah. been healthy, things have been falling into place. It's crazy. Great. So Great. yeah, that's, I really, your, that's a little bit of your purpose. Yes. Yes. Yes, indeed. I got my bed. And here's a question for all Butter Hags uh, followers. What is your purpose? Have you discovered your purpose? Have you guys? They're looking dis- at me like, why are you talking to me? <laughs> <laughs> do you guys? Do you guys? Re- um, never mind. <laughs> I think she was gonna say, "Y'all yeah, remember this dude?" <laughs> no, no. Well, what I was trying to say is, do you have any questions? Mm. But it, yeah. It, it, but then that. while I was trying to say, "Do you have any questions?" It it came. Yeah. Out, remember, and I was like, "Wait a minute, that's not what I wanted to say." So I stopped at well, the. Do you yard. have any questions for me? Do you guys have any questions? Do I have any questions for you? Um, you were really successful before you were homeless. That's correct. Do you have anything to share about uh, how that progression went from uh, your success to your homelessness? I never gave up hope. Mm-hmm. I kept the faith. Ah, ah, I kept ah, the faith. We got an irate ah, ah, uh, uh, audience member. <laughs> but <laughs> but uh, I always kept the faith and kept hope. And, uh, ah, ah, and ah, She wants to pick her up. Give her to me. Put her on the floor. Put her on the floor. I like, I love you, butter hag, but that dog, you know, spit out my juggler vein or something. <laughs> she can't get down the steps. But yeah, um, always kept the faith. Never gave up hope and uh, sacrifice uh, from not stealing. I used to uh, steal like 40 going north, you know? And my, my woman was a lady of the evening, so to speak, and I stayed with her for 30 years, never tried to control her, never forced her to do a damn thing. But to make a long story short, she had to sacrifice by not going on any tricks. So I stopped stealing on, and I stood on that corner listening to what everybody thinks about able-bodied souls who stand on highway corners holding signs begging for money. I've heard everything from, uh, nigga, get you a job, crackhead, get, you know, those kind of things, but I just kept, all right, my man, <laughs> although there was a part of me that wanted to throw a brick through, <laughs> you know, right through <laughs> right. the window, <laughs> you know, and then, and then there was the challenge of saying, 
when I see a, a white person, I'd say, oh, this white man going to give me some money. And it was just the opposite. A brother pulled up, gave me $5. The white man said, I'll be damned if I give you anything. <laughs> you know, so I stopped. And then I stopped guessing who was going to, you know, uh, leaning toward my own understanding. But um, most importantly, a woman didn't turn no tricks and I didn't steal. Right. I was going by whatever. It was better. Some days yes. were better than others. You know, $5. If I stayed out there for an hour and made five, I'd thank you, Lord. Thank right. you. Right. Then there were days I, I made like 500 in two hours. Wow. You know, people come by, give me $50. Christmas. Oh, yeah. Thanksgiving. I was really out there looking sad. Easter. Oh, Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Say, here you go, brother. Here you go. I'd be like, okay. Mm. But um, Tax time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, it wasn't during stimulus, but you're right. Yeah. <laughs> I would have loved to have been out there for stimulus check. Uh, no, you know I, you got uh, that stimulus. <laughs> give me $5. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's awesome. We're Good. having fun, family, uh, and I'm talking to your audience. This uh, is the Golden Voice. This is Ted Williams, the Golden Voice. Friday, the man it's with an all-new Butter Hag, only on Fox. Oh, yeah. <laughs> They're like, okay, Butter Hag, you going on there Fox? go. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all are Fox. I love you. Just having a time. Oh, you need got, to tell me your, your what like, is it, what were you telling me, the, the story about the, the spit? No, we probably shouldn't do that yeah, one. Little, what was the one before this bit? Um, Asses or us. Yeah, right. do do that one. Um, <laughs> let's see. Pro <laughs> oh, Lord, you put me on a the spot there. Well, here we go. Tired of brown stains in your BVDs? Get rid of them in a breeze with new erase. Yes, ladies, don't fret or sweat when you flood with blood. Erase it out. A VD stain? Yeah, it could be a pain. Don't feel dirty and hide your face. Say so long to embarrassing stains with new erase. <laughs> They're like, what in the hell are you just... I like, would love to. I yeah, would Black happy lives to matter. do that. Black lives I like how you really say that. Matter. Say the names. Remember the, uh, the uh, story. Know their story. Oh, know the story. Never forget. And never forget. That's Black right. lives matter. Say their names. Know their stories. Never uh, forget. Well, I'm going to do a, a, I'm like a, uh, I'm going to record tomorrow, but I'm going to say, this is to Butter Hang. Remember their names. Um, say their names. Say their names. Remember the story and never forget. No, I fucked it all up. Say their names, know their stories. Know their stories. Botham Jean. Yeah. Botham Jean. She got, what, that 10 years? Bitch, just looking at her, just when you see her. Yeah. I mean, I was sitting at Portia's house yeah. and a news flash came across and I said, there's that fucking bitch. Yeah. She should be on the. <laughs> yeah, that was. The I can't believe she got thing. 10 years. You 10 know, years. and here's the thing that it seems like. To me, this is my own opinion and yep. my own assessment at looking at the trends that we have going. But we have right now cops that are really freaking racist oh, yeah. who sit on their fucking, you know, sit in their cars all night long planning this shit and how they can get away with it. Yeah. Uh, that woman, no, that, that woman had worked double shift or yeah. 12 hours, whatever the fuck it was. Uh. And she knew that she was going to go home. And that black man above her was going to be walking through his apartment living like he was alive. Yes, yes. And she was not going to be able to go to sleep. And she would come up with a stupid fucking, you know, drug deprived, I mean, sleep deprived thought yeah. pattern. I can, I he's right him. above me. I can just walk in there yeah. and say, I thought I was in my in own my house. That was, oh, man. She thought she was going to get away with that shit. Yeah. She deserved a whole lot more than 10 years, but, uh, yeah. Jurisdictions and states have the, yeah. I always thought, uh, Texas would be known for killing black folk. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, that's a surprise, right? Yeah. And then you're getting it in Minneapolis. You're getting it all over the place. Detroit in 1977. I saw a black man beat to death in the Greyhound bus station oh, man. in 1977. I was 16 years old. And I w had to change. I was getting sent across country, and I had to change buses. I was getting sent from Massachusetts to Upper Peninsula. Uh -huh. Had to change buses in Detroit. And there were about maybe, I don't know, 10, 15 people in line. Uh -huh. The man right in front of me was um, a black man that had a, a hat on and an overcoat and um, a full cast, full leg on, a full leg cast. Wow. And he was on crutches, and he had a carton of cool and cigarettes. And they beat him to death? Watch. Okay, okay. He had a, he had a carton of cool cigarettes, and you know how when the carton is open, they start to fall out. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He started struggling with holding himself up on the crutches and keeping control of his cigarettes. Cigarette. 
and out of nowhere the tor can transit cop came rushing in grabbed him grabbed all his shit drug him across the platform op into a closet uh -huh. and all i could see was the billy club coming oh, up over man. his head and nobody said anything mm -hmm. everybody in line in front of me everybody in line behind me nobody in detroit. it was in detroit at the greyhound station wow he continued i say that he beat him to death because i don't see how anybody could have survived that kind of a beating yeah. he was beating him the whole time that i was waiting to board the greyhound uh -huh. and i got on the greyhound and made my way back to my seat and everybody else got on the greyhound and i watched out my window i can still remember and as the bus pulled away I, until i watched until i couldn't see anymore he was beating that man uh -huh that entire time and that man had done nothing it doesn't matter it doesn't matter if he'd stolen my fucking purse he doesn't deserve to be beat to death right. and the real alarming thing to the adult me is that nobody said a fucking word he was getting beat to death for standing in line and losing his balance on uh with a freaking lead cast on yeah. i you know and anyway so yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> wow i got the picture you got wow. it wow did I get what I've been up there? Uh, you was getting a book that I had to sign. Yeah, and then I put it back. And... Is, is, is this in here? Is this in here? No, that's oh. not it. I thought I got it. She's a very uh, uh, software engineer. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Well, that's just... She's... It's just unreal. Her story is just so... It really is. It really yeah. is. Oh, I'm sorry, you guys. All right. I knocked you over. <laughs> Um, so you got to worry about little man popping up. Well, I used to have a lot of fun writing code. Oh my gosh, little man was so inspirational to me because I was calling little man your little doggy. Oh, you were talking about my dog. That's yeah. Darius's son's name. Yeah, little man. Oh, little man. He goes by little man. Okay. Friday, it's an all new little man only on ABC. <laughs> yeah. Now, where's See, the now book? I gotta download that for him. Butter the book. Hags Road Trip Registry. And and uh, you can do a new page, but, okay. but the, people are just writing, you know, as much or as little or whatever moves you. Okay. And here you go. Put It'd it. be my privilege to do so. Thank you so much. In your road trip. Be sure to date it. Okay. Let's um, see here. Yay. Ted Williams, the yeah. man with the golden mm. voices currently signing butter hags yes. registry today is uh the 21st no 20 you're asking me i live in a box oh, wait a <laughs> we have phones now to tell you what the date is <laughs> That's right. you need to make it like a uh yeah you need to make like on on spotify or something so people can download it a whole bunch of shit like that you know like sorry sir Today is the day I have to tell you that you have two months to live. <laughs> oh, Lord, my, my last farewell. <laughs> You've got cancer up your coochie. <laughs> oh, man. But look at the bright side. <laughs> yeah, but look, look at, at the, the bright side. side. You might go to heaven. <laughs> right. May, may God continue to bless your journey. May Amazing God. man right here, man. Ted. I love Amazing. you too, yep, man. Yep, yep, yep. May good. God continue. Oh. May God continue to bless. Is my connection not working? Is, right, still the, same is the video bad? <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, Ted, no. Ted, Ted, you're showing your age. Now they call him a plug. <laughs> I'm an old man. <laughs> I didn't That's know. My old team. I didn't. I didn't know until I was in Georgia and we were looking for one. <laughs> you got the plug. Yeah. You quit smoking t uh, t uh, cigarettes. Yes. Yes, but I don't have one. No, I have one. Just, oh yeah, I'm just I would glad love you to. did. Do you want one? Yes, please. <laughs> oh, please. I thought you quit. That's what I was asking. No, 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 no. Oh, I have some go. at the house and I, and I just wait a minute. Wait, am I might even. No, I didn't. Bring it. Here you go. I'm just you, curious honey. if you. Had They're like, damn, Ted, you're still a vegan. <laughs> yeah. Part of my journey. Ted Part Williams, journey. the man with the golden voice, oh. bummed a cigarette for yes. me. I'm keeping the butt. <laughs> <laughs> That's for DNA. <laughs> uh, may God continue to bless your journey as you continue. As 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 you guys as you guys oh, wow. as you guys continue 
your search for Justin. Mm. I love you. Thank you for having me on your show. Let me see. I can continue your search for Justin. For Justin. This is a brilliant man here. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Is 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 anybody else having connection problems? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's what's going on. I don't know. <laughs> Sometimes people individually have a connection problem, and then I say reboot. But I ask other people first. You, okay, let's see. Um, Hello, Portia. Meet Ted Williams, the man with the hey, golden Hey, Portia. How voice. you doing, sweetie? How you doing? From Columbus, Ohio. I'm on the uh, Butter Hag Show and uh, having a great time uh, conversing with the family and uh, not getting eaten by the dog. By the dog. <laughs> yeah, I feel safe. He feels... <laughs> Yay. Let's see. Uh, okay. Oh, it's not over the lens anymore. Oh. What the hell? Oh, yeah. Well, what the... Hey, is that the Porsche that's married to Ellen DeGeneres? No, <laughs> no, she's married to a brilliant scientist named Neville. Oh, okay. Neville. Aaron Neville. No, I'm just kidding. There you go, sweet. Thank you uh -oh. so very much. Yes, absolutely. There's your pen. And you can use this as a button. Good girl. No, I got Unless one. Mine's empty. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Okay, good. Yeah. Thank you very much. So Ted. where are some of, some of your, uh, uh, probably all over the map, but... Um, uh, the people that's on there now, can you tell where they're from? Um, no, unless they tell us. Okay. Where is uh, Portia from? Portia lives in Metairie, down by New Orleans. Oh, okay. The Bayou. I, I stayed about five days at her house. Lots of voodoo down there, girl. <laughs> <laughs> down there in Louisiana. No, I'm just teasing. Portia is fierce. Portia, oh, yeah. okay. She's a haglet. That's what they call my, my super fans yeah. are haglets. Haglets, okay. Mm-hmm. Or, yeah, even the men. Could be habits. worse. You could be a piggy. <laughs> <laughs> she wants to go outside, or she's just barking? Yeah, her arthritis is hurting her. No, I just... <laughs> she's in L.A. You're in L.A.? Okay, but you're from London. Um, you're in Ohio, near Cincinnati. I met... Oh, my goodness. Let me show you what she gave me. Um, okay. Joy Marlowe. She's in Cincinnati. Um the Queen City. You remember hearing about him? He's got a, an off, a wonderful. Wow, he kind of sounds like Barack Obama. Oh. I'm Barack Obama. Tell him to say hello to Portia again. Hey, Portia, how are you doing? She's, she's Michelle a... and I are doing well, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I love me some damn Michelle Obama. <laughs> like, go on, go on. But uh, what was I getting ready to say? Oh, uh, Cincinnati. Uh, I went to uh, college in Cincinnati, not at the U University of Cincinnati, but uh, in Bond Hill. I forgot the name of it. <laughs> it's been that long ago, but um, yeah. Uh, oh man, it was a community college, but uh, I love Cincinnati. I used to work at WBLZ and WCIN. WBLZ and WCIN. He Dave, just did a trailer for uh, Dave Chappelle. Dave Chappelle. Yeah. And Dave Chappelle's going to be on his show. Well, if you're in the down uh, down in the uh, Yellow Springs area, Portia, his show will be uh, August eighth through the sixteenth, I believe. Dave and, Chappelle's going to be there. Yeah, Yellow Springs, and uh, come on down. Yeah, yeah. you're going to get to go see it, be on his show. Yeah. Oh, I'm so uh, excited. I'm do, Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome. David Chappelle. Chappelle. Yeah, there you go. Oh, yeah. Yes. That is incredible. Well, good for you. My husband worked at Coney Island for years. In New York? Where is oh. Coney Island? Joy, oh, Joy, Joy Marlowe. Let me show you what she got me. I am in the same area. Actually, I'm in Columbus. I'm in Col No, I'm in where Columbus. Yeah, Columbus, Columbus, Ohio. Columbus, Ohio. Yeah. Where did I do? Oh, it's behind my seat. Um, I'll have Darius send it to me when he comes back up. Okay. Um, Darius Rucker. <laughs> Wagon wheel. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> He's a great guy. You know, I was dating, dating my girlfriend. Hey, let me show you. Oh, it's in the car. I'm going to run I'm gonna real, run real quick and get the picture of my girl who passed okay. away. But I wanted to say, <clears throat> excuse me, 
up until I met her, I never dated a white woman, you know? Really? She's my first white woman, and I kind of stuck with her, you know? Uh, we stayed together for 32 years, but um, she taught me how to smoke Marlboros, listen to country music, and I'm not going to say the last thing. <laughs> you can only imagine. I can imagine. Yeah. <laughs> Marlboros, country music. I'm a, I'm a big George Jones fan. Yeah, and Randy Travis. And Randy Travis. Yeah. <laughs> Vince Gill and Martina McBride. Yeah. Oh, is my is your connection bad or is mine? Portia, how's my connection? How are how do we get connected? We're both going to be part of um, a documentary called Almost Famous Almost. We forgot to plug that. Hold oh, up. there you go. Almost Famous Almost. Almost Famous Almost is going to be on Netflix probably in January. And, and he's going to be narrating part of it and introducing. I would love and, to. I, well, I thought that Darius said you no, were. Okay. Am I Let's letting news out of the bag? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'll be having a dog. Darius, too. Darius, by the time, you know, when you, yeah, shit, Darius. That's all right, though. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You would, you know, he, say, he said he thought you would say something like talking about social media and how people, you know, who really are just everyday people can blow up yeah. and become sensations overnight. Yeah. And, and I should know. Well, I had, I'm yeah. Chad Williams. <laughs> I, I had 153, uh, uh, 153 million uh, hits on YouTube. Wow. Yeah. To date, it's about 200 something. Wow. Yeah. 200 million. million. Yeah. That's almost half the, uh, well, a third of uh, the population in America. <laughs> 200 yeah. million YouTube hits. Holy And crap. I knew nothing about it, so it was all by way of God. That's right. And that's what, you know, that's people right. refer to me as the man with a golden voice. I refer to myself as the man with the God-given golden voice. The man with the God-given golden yeah. voice. He well, said, acknowledge me in all yeah. your ways. Yeah. I'm smoking the cigarette, Lord, please. <laughs> yeah, no, he, said, he said, in all your ways. You know, back in the days when I was smoking crack and, and doing bad things, I would always, uh, you know, say to the crack dealers, uh, God bless you. He would look at me so strange. You know, he said, acknowledge me in all your ways. Because the devil's waiting to get in where he fits in. So if you stop talking about and acknowledging him, devil waiting right for you so whatever you do in the course of your day make sure you talk about god and and be thankful for everything the good and the bad and the ugly there you go yeah let them know you're grateful there you go. some days we don't wake up but uh, uh uh happy but if you wake up sad you woke up so be thankful for the sad. be thankful for the sad because yeah. at least you're awake yes 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 there's so many people who would love to have been awake yeah i know I'm going to go get that picture, if you don't mind. No, nope, go I'm right ahead. I'm going to take two steps to the rear and step out of here. All righty. Yeah. Take two steps the to the rear. The dog loves my feet. <laughs> is, he sit, is he laying on yes, you? Yes, <laughs> laying on my feet, and I feel so guilty to... Move him. Move. <laughs> That's all right. He's used to Bless it. Bless his heart. I'm going to step in that ear. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I'm only 110 pounds. <laughs> oh. <laughs> here we go. Gonzo, one second. No, it doesn't make me uncomfortable at all. See, I, I am uh, okay. I am a believer. In, I'm okay. I'm I'll tell him when he comes back. But no, it, his talk about God doesn't make me uncomfortable at all. I mean, I, I will fight for everybody's right to believe what, however they choose. Um, it's just that it's not hey, for me. me that's my new man. But his beliefs and the things that he's saying, I don't have any hate for him for that. Isn't it amazing? The trip is just amazing. The trip has been just wonderful. I have truly enjoyed it. Um, I really have. And to be here and to be meeting this kind of powerhouses and they're going to be part of my documentary. Oh my goodness. You know, it is holy cow. That's really, really, really exciting. Uh, his book, his book. Oh, well, oh that's his book? Oh, yeah. No, he had a right. book. Did it fall down? Uh, no, I got it right okay, here. Okay, it oh, right it's here. in your pocket. <laughs> <laughs> what am I saying? Uh, hello, everybody. Hello, hello, hello. We got Sno Smokey Norfield outside here. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's actually a comedian. Is he I'll a comedian? Him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Calvin. His name is Calvin? Yeah, yeah. but he looked like Smokey Norfield. <laughs> I had him gone for a minute. <laughs> like, oh. 
I don't know who this that is. This documentary is going to be off the chain. It it's really is. Cool. This documentary is going to be amazing. Yeah, yeah. It, it, I mean, I'm not His even... voice on the opening is going to be awesome. He doesn't know he's in it. He doesn't know he's in it yet. Yeah. He said, I told him, I said, I said, you know, they said, how did you guys hook up? And, uh, and, 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 and I said, well, we're both going to be in the documentary, Almost Famous, Almost. And he said, really? I would love to. I would be honored. I said, well, Darius said you're going to narrate some of it and introduce the social media at the very least. And he said, well, really? Well, I'll be happy to. <laughs> Heard through Roy. Uh, oh. But yeah, but there's it, a certain way we got to do things. So he operates a certain way. Oh, I shouldn't have said that then. No, it's fine. No, no, I, no, no, certainly I have. No, no, I, no, I could no, say that. No, okay, I good. Already, I already knew it was a go. When I okay, got gotcha. You. Gotcha, yeah. gotcha. So <laughs> you worked. Okay, gotcha. He works when he wants to work. He does it when he wants. He don't like to commit. He don't like you to He say, don't like hey, to do commit. This. He just right. says yes when you ask him to do it. Okay. And that's what he told me. I said, good. Fair he, he's not going to plan anything. You just catch up with him and he'll right. say yes. Okay. That's there you go. Well, that's smart. It went over that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all good. <laughs> all right, all right, good. Well, cool. Yeah. I know he's confirmed to you because you're cute. See, if I was cute, he would tell me right <laughs> No, he was going to do it. He was going to do it. <clears throat> that is pretty cool. Oh, let me see. Nice enough, but they are making themselves way too comfortable in your space. Oh, no. My, car, my house is their house. Every last one of them are welcome. I get the bed, but, <laughs> you know, <laughs> they come and go in the refrigerator like it was theirs. Uh, I, I don't have any problem with that. No, no, no. I know this Netflix is going to be amazing. It really is. It really is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> is I'm getting old, man. I forget stuff. <laughs> He's great, though. I love his oh, yeah. stories. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah He's amazing. Yeah. And have to have him on there is just <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, I told you, man, done. I said, cool. We good. That's when I told you. Oh, done. okay, good, 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 good. Well, that's well, amazing. You don't want to be like, all right, I'm signing up. I'll be on January the 14th. All right, we'll see you then. He won't do right. that. He won't. he won't do that. Okay. Nope. He said that's his trigger. To remind him of how he was under the gun. They're both time. amazing. It's going to be in January-ish. I'm not promising January just because, but January is when we expect. January-ish. We could have to add something. They want to do this. They want to do that. So January-ish is an January. ac accurate description. It is Look going to be a documentary on Netflix um, in January 2021. 22. January 2022. January 2022. Yeah, that matter of fact. <laughs> January tw uh, 2022. That's what 20, <laughs> It's going to be released on 1-20-2022. 1-20-2022. Look for Almost Famous Almost on Netflix. Actually, the trailer will drop in. The actual trailer. Oh, and then it'll be like a... Their a time. They can say whatever yeah, they can do whatever. So the trailer will drop in January. And then Netflix will release it Probably when... In January as well. But unless they decide to do different. Yeah, they may decide to hype it up for a little bit before right. they release it. They, want. they yeah. might say we want more footage. Here's some more money. Here's some more money. Oh, Here oh, you oh. go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not opposed. To that. I'm not opposed to that. All right. Well, that's awesome. <laughs> we need a Zoom party for that. Yes, we do. I wish I could see what everybody's saying. Oh, because you can't. Well, I can in a minute. But they're enjoying themselves. Hope they are. Um, are you guys enjoying this? There's 20 viewers. TikTok must still be mad at me. Yeah, that's, man, that's cool. Oh, well, I guess you don't need full power to keep it going. No, I don't need full power to keep it going. Um, I ha hang on, you guys. I'm going to do a change. I'm going to plug my, i got to plug my phone in. Embarrassing. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even spell. No, okay, that's okay. That's funny. Though. What did you say? What no, was embarrassing? I, no, I'm joking. Nothing, nothing. It was a joke. Don't take me serious. I know you just went over it. 
But it was I'm joking. Okay. I'm not a serious enough. Your second story was slightly different from your first, and so that's why. Right, I understand. Okay. I'm old. I forget shit. That's okay. <laughs> I got a high five, Ted. That's the that's the that excuses the bomb. Um, how long? I'm gonna be here until tomorrow morning. I leave tomorrow morning. I knew it was them, but when I be like an idiot, I get ready to go and answer the door, but I know it's them. I said, I'll get it. He said, Hell no, we know. should go outside and watch this, but my phone's not charged, I, dang I, it. I, I, that old lady was 87 years old. Hit me in my phone, she said, you don't fuck with nothing else. God went out the door. He said, you don't fuck with nothing Hi, Slab Studio. We're here with Ted Williams, the man with the golden voice, but he went outside and started bullshitting, so... I'm contemplating going outside with them. <laughs> I am contemplating going outside with them, but my battery needs some charge. Um, no, I am not in the same place. I am not in the same place. I, I, I will be at a Walmart. No, I'm actually, I'm, I, no, I, I will text text me and I will respond and tell you where I am or unless you want to come right now. Hello Vicky Stark. I was just wondering that this morning. Where have you been? Yes, let's go outside. I'll take you guys outside with me. No, Gonzo. Okay. Hang on a minute. Let me get your Where is Where is Hang on a minute. We're going to go outside. Where is Freckles? You got two horses and a cow? Yes! Where's Cassie? I'm going to sign y'all. Oh, okay. Yeah. My, my, my character pick it. But there's a shot of Kathy. Yeah. Oh my goodness, she's beautiful. Yeah. Oh my goodness. That's my baby. I tell you what. Come here. So Come here. I'm listening. Go ahead. No, I was gonna say, um, I wanted to see how you eat it there. Oh. <laughs> anyway, um no, he was giving that shit on you. No. no. His tail is no, like no. a bull whip. He's backing his ass up hey, by your knee. I'm <laughs> Uh, make a long story. His name is Winston. Oh, the boy. Okay. Yes. Uh, okay, Winston, I, I love you too. Also. Oh, so anyway, uh, what was that talking about? Oh, <laughs> she signed a DNR. Oh. No. And that's what happened. And um, when she got in the ambulance, she had a, a respiratory situation going on, and they figured, well, don't don't revive her, and she died. And to this day, I got I got uh, animosity against the nursing home that she was in. Who ran out to tell the uh, paramedics that she has a DNR? Yeah, and she 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 didn't want to die, but she signed it, right? Thinking that because uh, they were trying to talk hospice uh, into uh, you know for her, and uh, don't worry about it. You're gonna die with the quality of life that you you know you won't have to suffer no more. Oh my God! Yeah, these are these are yeah. professional uh, people, doctors, and talking her into going and being medicated to to die. Oh so I've, I'm very bitter about some things, you know. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm, I'm bitter I'm about some nursing person, home but, things, too, you know. But show your fans my little baby who I'm talking about. Here we go. Yeah, that's This Kathy. is his wife that passed away in March. Yes, and she was only 60 years old. What did you look like? 60 years young. She was only 60 years. Yeah. And we were we were just getting yeah. ready to get our place. Yes, you did. Yeah. That's amazing. It really is. I'm so glad you shared that with yeah, me. Yeah, I wanted to share that with you. And you see what I got on, right? My shirt. Good times. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> Temporary. Yeah, lady off. no <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. But I'm gonna sign y'all one of my caricature pictures. Oh, thank you. So you can you. take it from travel to travel. That's me. My big head and big teeth. Oh, how cool is that? Yeah. Oh my God. 
the butter hat. Thank you so much. Let me go over here and sign. Go over there. I think the pen is still sitting on the couch. So. Coming back out. Freckles, you want to go inside? <laughs> Where's the other one? There he is. I just push a button. Here you go. You want to go inside? There you go. There you go. Grab my camera. Are we going in? Or? No, no, I'm getting Okay. Isn't that cool? Yes, there's Freckles. Very pretty. She was very pretty. <sighs> he's he's an amazing guy. I'm really glad I got to meet him. Tell him to high five. I know, right? They filled up my hand. Oh, hi. Nice to meet you. Very nice to meet you. So, where's your mark? Incredible. Oh, they're in the box on top of the refrigerator. Isn't that amazing? I love this. I love this. I told her. I told. I told uh, Leroy when I yeah. first looked at this. I thought of. I, I thought of uh, Smokey Brown, the artist. Oh, really? From his work. Yeah. I said, "Oh man, this is like. It's got so much character." Patina. And just. Yeah. Man, it's just man. Thank you just, so much. It tells such a story. You should. Did you step in and look no, inside? Go on and step in. Step in and at least look at the kitchen and li living room. I did not build the um, couch or the kitchen counters, but I installed the solar and designed the system. And, How about and this? Who did um, that? A carpenter that I hired. That's pretty cool. This is barn wood that we pulled right down off a hundred year old barn. Is, so well, that's gonna be and that whole wall back there You're behind the find kitchen wood is. like this. I uh, know, right? You're not gonna find one. We took it right down off the barn. Wow. And I don't have to worry about it getting wet or anything. It's like it, it got wet for 100 years yeah, and it yeah. didn't hurt it. Yeah. So, and the solar stuff is in that cabinet there. The, there's the kitchen. I got a full size refrigerator. I never have to plug in for electricity. That's what I wanted to know. Does that, you don't ever have to plug in? So I don't ever have to plug in. Yeah. I don't have air conditioning, but I could run a mini split. And behind that wall is a bathtub and toilet and um, two big closets and. Uh, um, a bed and then a the garage bed. behind the bed. I am in love with this. This is just has so much character. This is a fun bus. Like this is a fun. Like this should be in Los Angeles. It shouldn't be in Columbus. Like, like <laughs> Maybe can, it will be. You can park right by the water and live in it. You know oh what I'm yeah, saying? yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I I spent two summers traveling the Oregon coast. Yeah, this this is straight. California. Pulling off and being right on the Pacific Ocean yeah. where the big rocks are. I San Diego. With Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I lived in it for five oh, years. Yes. And the dogs, you know what I like? The dogs don't smell. No. I smell them always if I mess with the dog. Uh huh. He's well kept. Mm -hmm. I like that dog. Yeah, isn't he great? I just got him. My little daughter would love him. I just got it's a it's a it's a girl, but oh, my last my follower. Okay, we'll take him no, 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 no. Cincinnati, my follower in Cincinnati, it was her brother's and he passed away. And she attached to the boys and me, so she said she needs she's ready for her next adventure. She is a good dog, yeah. She really is. Right when he saw him, she was like I was like, oh, come down here. I said, then come on. And she hopped down and fell. And then came right over to me and said, <laughs> oh, I said, sure. oh, this dog right away yeah, likes me. Uh -huh, how cool is that? Yeah, yes, she's cool. she's so sweet. She comes to her name. Her name is Freckles. Um, yeah. Anyway. Anyway. So you was an engineer. No, you do a software engineering. So yeah. you can do so I have right code. Yeah, lots of code. Yeah. Let's do a Bitcoin. Let's do a coin. A crypto coin. You want to do a crypto? Let's do it. Let's do a crypto coin. Heard it got pretty good. I got someone to hook you up with named Meredith Bill in California. He lives in Kenya, and he has a grant with Microsoft. He's been uh, he gets like quite a bit. I don't. I, I'm not gonna count his money, but he he gets very well for living in Kenya. And I spoke to him, his mother died last month, mm -hmm. and I just talked to him about let's do a coin dealing with Kenya. Ah. And he said, hey, I'm interested, but we haven't with me further yet. Right. So now here's you. I don't know what kind of work you can do. Well, I, 
I would have to look into it. I can write all the server code, code behind the scenes, that kind of stuff, and and, a, and an interface. Yeah, like but I have never written a, a an app. Well, I did write well, an app. You guys can collaborate. He used to be the webmaster for Dale. Okay, so he can call me no, and I'll no, talk. He's no one to play. Oh my God! Look at this. I let him give it to you. That's Rumblefield. <laughs> oh, you're gonna let him give it to me? Okay. We're gonna film some more. I'm gonna set you guys over here because we're about to film some more. Be like, don't forget me. <laughs> yeah, I like some boots. Oh uh, yeah, man, I put them on. Got little boots on. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. yeah. If I'm not crazy busy hey, with my road trip. Oh, Ted Williams is the man with the golden voice. Alright, dog. Oh, freckles. He like, don't forget me. That's the cutest little dog. Yeah, you're the only person I know that looks just party. like your character, man. Right? On, on the character. On the yeah. Team. Big head, big teeth. <laughs> that's me. <laughs> the man that's a natural Ted. caricature. Yeah. <laughs> that's Ted Williams. Love you to death, girl. I love you too. Thank you yeah, so much. It was so good pleasure. to meet you. Yeah. Porsche. Porsche is in Metairie. Oh, okay. She's on the <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Couldn't find you for a minute. <laughs> Just want to tell you to make sure you check out the Golden Voice Show on uh, RadioFreeNetwork.com. And of course, you're definitely a fan of this. Lady. Oh, yeah. She's, she's so you'll never leave. Your loyalty will never leave. All the fine people in Cincinnati say hi. Hi. <laughs> yeah. Black Lives Matter. Black Lives Matter. Yeah. Really? Thanks to this lady bringing the awareness and seeking justice wherever she goes. So keep her in your prayers. Keep me in your prayers one day at a time. Love you guys. Say their names. Say their name. Know their story. Know their story. Never forget. Never forget. Black Lives Matter. Black Lives Matter. Did you write that down for me? Shit, no, you didn't give me a chance. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get it. I'll Boy, get it. how forgetful we get when we're <laughs> up in the age. <laughs> Darius can text it to you. Okay, do that, would you? Yeah. Darius Rutger, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> of Booty and the Blowfish. <laughs> That's right. That's Darius. And then we got Smokey Robinson over there. Smokey Robinson here, yeah. Yeah, he got a haircut, but Smokey's still Smokey. Hell yeah. Then we got Loyal Royal. It's a big cast of people here. There you go. And then your Netflix special is called? Um, Almost Famous, Almost. Almost Famous, Almost. It's going to be um, <laughs> on Netflix and uh, the trailer should drop in, drop in January. Yeah. Right on. Right. Yeah, isn't it exciting? Yeah. How fucking cool is that? <laughs> I don't know why. That's a good title, man. Almost famous. Almost. <laughs> 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 oh, I'm sorry if I've offended anyone. I love you. Oh, Lord. Almost got attacked by Smokey's brother. <laughs> hey, listen. I love you guys. Okay. All right. It's Ted Williams, the man with the golden voice. And the lovely butter hag. And the lovely butter hag. Yeah. And I get to be on his show. He's going to be on Dave Chappelle's show. That's right. I, well, um, I'm going to introduce him coming he's out. He's going to introduce stage. Dave Chappelle on one of his shows. Yes, and, and I'm going to introduce you. And you're going to introduce Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the lovely butter hag. Thank you. <laughs> Woo! I knew. Uh -huh. Y'all be good. All right. Darius, yes, I love you, man. All right, y'all be good. Oh, shit. oh, hush. Excuse you guys want to play this thing? Oh, she's going to try to get in there with him. <laughs> okay, now how do you do the water? Oh, uh, let me. Okay, you guys, I'm going to sign off. I love you guys. And I'll be live again this evening. 1001, 1002, 1003, 1004, 1005 for the legs. Oh, Lord. <laughs> 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 with the camera.
put now it down. I gotta wait for the leg, so that shows up. <laughs> Yeah, one thousand one, one thousand two. That's called fade to black. <laughs> fade to black, yeah. right? See you guys later. I love you all. Right, thank you. And, and all you guys do Will you read the names? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right. We'll get him to do that. Someday we'll get him to do that. He's got to go right now, but someday we'll get him to do that. I promise you. Talk to you later. Love you.